Micro, small and medium enterprises, jointly called MSME, plays a major role in the Indian economy. There are over 26 million entities providing employment to more than 59 million people, contributing around 45% of industrial production of the country. The sector is also a major consumer of energy, consuming an estimated 50.5 million tonne of oil equivalent in 2012. Considering the inherent issues of MSME sector, the Ministry of Power, Government of India in association with Bureau of Energy Efficiency and Ministry of MSME, Government of India initiated a project titled National Programme on Energy Efficiency and Technology Upgradation in SMEs. Ludhiana Forging Cluster was selected under the project for intervention. The cluster has more than 1500 forging units operating in the various industrial pockets in and around Ludhiana, Jalandhar, Phagwara and Muga. The BEE SME project aims to initially implement energy efficient technologies in selected units in the cluster as part of a pilot project. Inspire Network for Environment was selected as the implementing agency for Ludhiana Forging Cluster. The organization carried out a detailed baseline energy audit study in the selected units in order to establish the energy consumption pattern in the forging units. The baseline energy audit revealed that the conventional metal heating process in an oil or gas fired batch type reheating furnace is a major energy guzzler in a typical forging unit. The material needs to be heated to 1150 to 1200 degree centigrade temperature in a reheating furnace. The oil or LPG fired reheating furnace in a typical unit consumes 0.2 to 0.5 furnace oil equivalent per kilogram of production. We found that the reheating furnace was the major energy consuming equipment in this type of industries. So, as a replacement to the reheating furnace, we introduced induction-based heater where electricity was used to heat this material to the required forging temperature. The induction-based heating systems come in different capacities and configurations based on the shape, weight and quantity of the material to be heated. Whereas many units opted for smaller versions of the system, some units opted for larger versions with the provision of synchronizing them with automated hammering system. In the induction heating process, the metal piece, which is the conductive material, is placed into a strong alternating magnetic field between the coils and electric current is made to flow in the material. Localized electric currents, called eddy currents, are created within the metal. They work against the metal's resistance causing dual heating in which the amount of heating is proportional to the square of the current. The current is generated mostly in the surface layer. By replacing the oil or LPG fired furnace with induction heater, the unit got significant benefits. First of burning losses are 8 to 10 percent. There is no need to be pre -tinker. So, total is 20 to 25 percent directly benefit de rahi hai. Pehle oil fired mein je piece overheat ho ke jal jata tha, usme holes aa jate the. Isse isme weight and uska jo quality hai, wo bilkul jada improve hai. By replacing the reheating furnace with an induction heater, the following benefits were realized. Increase in productivity by two to three times. Reduction in specific energy consumption by 60 to 80 percent. Annual energy saving in typical forging unit in the range of 25 to 30 TOE. Cost of energy reduced by rupees 3 to 6 per kilogram of production. Payback on investment less than 15 months. Sir, this is a very big sir, that it doesn't feel good. And it's a lot of people who are in our industry today. This is the best thing, it's a lot of people who are in our industry. बीमार पड़ने से लोग बच जाएंगे बीमार नहीं होंगे सर कोई पूरे हमारे इंडस्ट्री वाले यही चीज लगाएं ताकि लेबर 
लेबर भी घट लगे और लेबर की सेहत सेहत भी बचे रहे The estimated energy saving from the Ludhiana cluster as a whole through these interventions is 20000 TOE of energy per year. Specific expected outcome from this project is improvement in the productivity of the units at local level. Saving of natural resources like furnace oil at national level and reduction of the CO2 emission at global level. BEE offered financial support and consultancy for encouraging the adoption of the technology. The pilot project has been implemented in six units in Ludhiana. SME units are particularly wants to see the demonstration of every every new technology which you propose for energy efficiency. And uh, seeing is the believing, you can say that. Once they see that if the technology works very well, then the adoption rate is very high. so we learn that for initial demonstration we will provide some financial assistance of 10 lakh rupees to implement this technologies and after implementation of this technologies we hope that the others will replicate in a larger scale and the technology can be promoted india has a commitment to cut its emission intensity of gdp by 33 to 35% by 2030 from 2005 level These six units in Ludhiana have shown the way to reach the goal. Now it's time for others to follow for a greener and cleaner India.